Hi guys, Jen here with How Jen Does It. Today I'm going to share my quick tips for cleaning your kitchen, specifically after dinner because that's when it usually is the messiest. And I know after dinner, the last thing we really want to do is clean our kitchen. But that is why I am sharing some quick tips with you so that you can clean it in less time than you think and you can wake up to a clean kitchen, which is always a great way to start the day. I wanted to share a great offer from Grove Collaborative that will help your kitchen to get nice and clean and smell amazing. This is a free offer for new Grove Collaborative customers. You can get the Mrs. Myers dish soap, multi-surface cleaner, hand soap, and this Grove Collaborative dish brush with a replaceable head all for free with a $20 or more order, which is a great deal. And the full scents are out. Apple cider is my favorite scent of all the Mrs. Meyer scents, so I always look forward to it coming out for the fall. But you can choose the apple cider scent, the mom, or pumpkin, which I believe is a new scent, and I haven't tried that one yet. So those are great scents to make your kitchen smell amazing and do a good job cleaning. If you are a new customer and spend more than $39, you will also receive this Grove Collaborative Caddy. These are great. I have like three or four of them. They're great to store and carry your cleaning products. And if you already are a Grove Collaborative customer, you will receive their walnut scrubbers for free if you use my link. The same link applies to everything. Okay, this is my kitchen before I started making dinner. And this part is important because it really does cut down on the time it takes to clean up your kitchen after dinner. So I have mentioned this before, but we clean up our kitchen as we go. And it's not like no one is home all day. I work from home. My husband works from home a lot. My boys are here making breakfast, lunch, snacks, and everybody's getting coffee and drinks and everything. So it's not like no one is home and my kitchen just stays like this. We use our kitchen all day long, but we all put our dishes in the dishwasher throughout the day and that really cuts down on the mess. So you can see I have no dishes in my sink. I didn't do anything to it. So if there's crumbs, that's just because that's the way it looked. And this is my dishwasher. We empty it at the end of the night. So we run it after dinner and we put in our dishes throughout the day. So water bottles and snack dishes and cereal bowls, coffee mugs, whatever, it goes in the dishwasher. And I have been doing this even when I had little kids. So I know things get a little bit messier with little ones, but you can train them to put their dishes in the dishwasher or even just bring them over to the sink that way you don't have to do it all and it really helps them to create great habits. There are a couple things that you can do while you're cooking to reduce the cleanup. I like to line my baking dishes with parchment paper. I use this chlorine-free parchment paper that I get from Grove Collaborative. It just cuts down on scrubbing pans. I also like to use a garbage bowl. I got this idea from Rachel Ray, and this is actually one of her garbage bowls specifically for putting in scraps and just different garbage that you accumulate while you're cooking. I really like this one because it's a good size and it does have rubber on the bottom so it isn't going to slide around. Uh, so it's a great bowl, I'll link it below. But basically I will peel my vegetables right into this bowl. It's great because that way you don't have scraps from vegetables that you're peeling in one area of your kitchen and the packaging from the pasta or the meat or the cheese in another area and just random things that can really accumulate. You just have everything in one bowl. You can keep it on the countertop so you're not going back and forth to the trash can and it just makes cleanup a lot easier. 
While your sauce is simmering or your pasta is boiling or your rice is cooking and you aren't actively cooking, just use a couple minutes to take any dishes that you are no longer using to the dishwasher or the sink. It's always great to use a spoon rest or a plate for a spoon so you're not getting sauce all over your countertop. It's a great time to put your spices away if you used any so that you don't have to do that at the end. Once we are done eating dinner, we all take our own dishes and put them in the dishwasher. And then I will go around and get any dishes that are on the countertop from when I was cooking. And I use a lot of things at the last minute like the cheese grater and what have you. This night my boys weren't home, they were both working so I went ahead and made plates for them to heat up when they got home. And if they are home, I will just go ahead and put away any leftovers and then again, taking any pots and pans that I have to the sink so that they aren't just sitting around. I like to clean up right after dinner. I did this even when my kids were small because the longer stuff sits there, the harder it is to clean. So now everything is off the countertop. So all of the dishes are either in the dishwasher or in the sink. Everything is put away, leftover food is put in the fridge. Now I'm going to spray down the table. I'm using the Mrs. Meyer multi-purpose spray and that smells so good. And I just do a quick wipe down of the chairs. Um, mine show fingerprints. If you have little ones, you might have crumbs to deal with. So. I sometimes will do like a really good wipe down of the chairs, but usually I just do like a quick spot clean. Now I'm doing the countertops. Again, I'm using the Mrs. Meyers multi-surface spray and I just went around and cleaned all of the countertops. So everything has been wiped down. I just spot clean when we're making lunch or breakfast or whatever, but after dinner, I think it's a good idea to wipe down your countertops because who knows what's been on there. And then I clean off my stove top. Sometimes, depending on what I make, I don't have to take the grates off and really give it a good clean, but you saw I was making spaghetti and um, pasta sauce, so stuff got all over and I needed to wipe it down. Um, so I'm using the Mrs. Meyer spray again, and I have found that the Method Stainless Steel Cleaner is great for stainless steel, and I just do a quick wipe down of the handles or any little spots where someone put their hand. I don't take a ton of time to do this. It's also great for your stovetop, the Method Stainless Steel Cleaner. Uh, it leaves it streak free, so. I really like that. I get this from Grove Collaborative as well. Now it's time to start the dishwasher and you can see we really do have food on our floor. It doesn't always show up in videos unless they do a close up. Um, so Parmesan cheese, it gets everywhere somehow. One of my favorite tips for cleaning the kitchen quickly is to have others help you. My boys used to help a lot as we were teaching them, you know, how to clean and to do their chores and to help out around the house. But now a lot of times they are at work in the evening. So John will help out. He will wash the pots and pans that I don't put in the dishwasher and then he will take out the garbage. This really helps so that I don't have to do everything. I always cook the meal, I clean up a lot of it, and that way it doesn't take me all night and it's just really nice to have someone to help you. So I definitely think this is important. John will sweep the floor. And yes, I know we need to get a new cordless vacuum. I had one and it just isn't working anymore. Once John is done washing the dishes, I just run the garbage disposal really quickly just so that anything that's in there isn't going to smell. And then I just use a little dish soap and scrub the sink. I do sanitize it regularly, but after dinner I usually just wipe it down with a little dish soap. And I did wanna mention, I do everything in the same order and that really cuts down on time. So you can follow the order that I showed in this video because it really makes it quick. I just wanted to remind you really quickly that the new customer offer from Grove Collaborative is only good through Sunday, September 9th. So you definitely want to take advantage of that if you are interested. I will have the link below. And again, 
the fall sensor out and you will get a Mrs. Meyers hand soap, dish soap, multi-surface spray, and a Grove replaceable head dish brush for free with a $20 purchase. And if you spend $39 or more, you will also receive this Grove Collaborative Caddy. I hope you enjoyed this video and found it helpful. Thank you so much for watching, guys. If you aren't subscribed to my channel, I would love to have you subscribe. And if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up.